Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boomshika and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful as always that you guys are listening, subscribing and commenting. I appreciate the support. And if you're interested in supporting me further, you can do that by going to my Ko-fi link, kofi.com slash boomshika. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about how we have this deep-seated fear as an INFJ that we are going to fool everyone into thinking that we're good, genuine, nice people. <laughs> it's such a weird thing to say it out loud because, I mean, I've been noticing a couple of memes online about it and it just makes me laugh because it just literally is the truth that we as INFJs are sitting here thinking, oh, uh, if someone likes us or if someone's friends with us, oh, I see. So I've fooled this person into believing that I am a nice person and that I sh they should be friends with me. And I don't know what I did. I, I, sh I should stop doing that. <laughs> and then so we go and we search for what did we do? You know, how does this person, this individual, why does this person think that we're a nice person and why do they want to be friends with us? Because obviously in our head, in our mind, in our hearts, we know that we're crazy and we're evil or we're not nice and we have all these quirks to us. And so we're always kind of searching for that thing that we did. And we're like, what did we do? How did I fool this person into believing that I'm a good person and that they should be friends with me? And so, you know, we're always like looking for that that thing that we did to fool them and then we'll never discover it because there really there isn't anything like that but we're always like oh my god I fooled this person now they think that I'm a nice person now they want to be friends with me how how did this happen I'm a terrible human being I, I fooled this person into thinking that I'm a good person I don't know what to do anymore <laughs> and so we're always wary of it because we have this because as an individual, as a person who spends a lot of time observing ourselves, we spend a lot of time observing ourselves as individuals, as INFJs, because we're always trying to figure out what makes us tick, you know, what am I doing on this planet, obviously, why am I here, uh, why, that, what makes me happy, what makes me sad, um, what makes people like me, what make, makes people hate me, things like that. And so we're always kind of observing, we're always trying to learn more about ourselves, but we know so much about ourselves and we know ourselves so intimately, of course, that we know that we're not perfect beings. And we have terrible thoughts sometimes where we have negative thoughts about other people or, you know, we, uh, we have um, prideful thoughts where we think, oh, we're the greatest. Or we have thoughts where we think that that person should deserve something terrible to happen to them because they're a bad person or something like that. And so we have all of the, we have this insight into ourselves and we know exactly that we're not perfect beings, obviously, but far from it, we are actually very imperfect beings. And that means that because we're so imperfect, we believe that other people shouldn't like us, right? that we shouldn't, that other people should know that about us. You know, look at me, look at me, I'm imperfect. And uh, they shouldn't be friends with us or they should stay far, far, far away from us. But people don't. People don't stay far away from us. And I don't know what it is. Uh, we've been called charming and we've been called other things. But people do gravitate towards us and, and we do end up making friends. And every single time I make a friend and that friend actually wants to stay friends with me no matter what, I'm always surprised and I'm always thinking to myself, so what did I do to fool this person into believing that I'm a good person that should be friends with them, right? Um, even you guys, and I love you guys to death, and you know that, but even you guys, when you say, you know, that you genuinely like me, or, uh, you know, you watch my channel because um, I'm a good person, and, and you like my videos and things like that, or you like me particularly, I'm always surprised because I'm like, well, how? <laughs> I've really tried and shared all of my really negative, um, crazy, uh, bad points with you guys as much as possible on these videos. And so despite the fact that I've shared as much as I can, you still want to be friends with me or you still want to watch my videos or you still like me, it surprises me. It is uh, it's one of the biggest surprises to me even right now. And I'm always thinking to myself, what happened there? What, what did I do wrong? 
which is weird fun really funny because i mean i should think of it as something that i'm doing right but in my head because i know what kind of person i am and that i shouldn't have any friends um shouldn't have any friends i'm always surprised when i do and so i'm like what am i doing wrong like what am i doing what what am i doing to fool all these people into believing that they should be friends with me that they're going to get something out of being friends with me they're not going to get anything you're not going to get anything um yeah <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm saying that to you guys as well um, I'm glad that you do think that I'm a good person or that you want to be around me but this is something that is a typical thing that is within every INFJ we just are genuinely confused um, by people wanting to be friends with us by people believing that we're good people and wanting to be friends with us it's fine people want to be friends with us people can be fooled etc that's okay but when people genuinely believe that we're good and want to be friends with us, then I'm, we're just sitting there thinking, I, I'm so confused, I'm baffled, I'm flabbergasted, I'm mystified. What's going on here? How can you believe that I'm a good person when I've genuinely tried to show you all of the negative aspects of myself, right? Um, one of the things that I do, and I've, I've said to you guys before, I've told you guys this before, is that one of the things I do when I first meet someone that I think we might potentially have a friendship with is that I will show them all of my negative sides, right? I'll be like, yeah, these are all the different things that I do. I hate people, I am racist, I am sexist, I am this, I am that, and I, um, I mean, I don't kick puppies or anything, I love puppies and I love kittens, <laughs> but uh, I am a terrible person, I do this and that, and you shouldn't be friends with me, right? And so this is basically how I'll start off most relationships. And then so I'm like, all right, cool. So I've done my due diligence. I've, I've taken care of my side of this issue. Now you have to take care of yours. Run away from me. You know, run away far, far away because I'm a terrible person and you shouldn't be close to me. You shouldn't stay near me. Stay far away because I'm a crazy person and I'm an INFJ and I'm, I'm a terrible person and you need to be careful, right? And so I do my part and I expect the other people to do theirs, but for some reason the message doesn't get across and they still end up being friends with me. And I think to myself, um, what is going on here? Like why, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> right? And it's just very confusing. And I'm not even saying this because it's, it, I mean, it is a big joke and it's very, very funny. But I'm not even saying this because, you know, I am making, I'm trying to make it funny. It's actually literally how this goes in my life and in every INFJ's life. And we sit there just baffled, surrounded by people who love us and who want to be friends with us. And we're like, but, but what happened here? I tried to show you guys the truth and you're still here. Why? <laughs> and so, you know, I end up asking a couple of my friends who are friends with me and who've been friends with me for a while. You know, why are you friends with me? You know, do you know who I am? And they're like, yeah, no, you're a great person. You're really nice. You're genuine. Uh, you're loyal. And I want to be friends with you for as long as we live. I want to be friends with you until we're 80 or 90, until we die, etc. And again, sitting there listening to these beautiful thoughts and really nice thoughts. And I'm grateful for these thoughts, obviously. But listening to them, I'm really always just mystified, always just confused because I don't get it. What did I do in order to make these people believe that I'm a good, genuine person that should be friends with them or they should be friends with me? And so I think this is a trend in INFJs. We just, in general, have no clue. We have no clue. We don't understand what attracts people to us. Even when people fall in love with me, and I've done videos on this, I literally am sitting there thinking, you like me, like me here, this person here, this individual. And it's just so confusing. It's just literally like the, the most baffling thing on this planet. And I sit there thinking to myself, I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea. I, I've done my best and I try to push you off or shove you away or uh, make you run away from me and you didn't. And so now if anything happens to you, then it's your own fault. <laughs> And so that's what we do as INFJs. We try to push people away because we believe that it's best for them to stay away from us because we're crazy. But people don't and people are still around us and we're just mystified by their just clinginess or their inclination to stay around us even though we are who we are. Whatever that means to you. 
I hope this makes sense. I hope I was able to explain myself to you. Again, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to ask me questions about this video or any other subject that I've done, please comment below and I'll do another video on it. And if you're interested in supporting me further, you can do that by going to my Ko-fi link, kofi.com slash boomshaka. I shall see you the next time around. Bye for now.